Jude's birthday cake. Dairy I'm Queen 12. ice cream. I think they can tell you're 12. It says it on top. Yep. And look at what I got. Tell them what it is. It's say. And then it turns over and balances on the other side. Don't do it here. It'll fall down. But yeah, you push it over and it goes, yep, over to the other side. It's a fidget stick. Fidget stick. Like they need any more of those kind of fidget thingies. So, the storm we just had, not sure if you can, let me see if I can zoom in you guys. Uh, let's see here, hold on. There we go. See that? It's a snapped branch. Look at the size of the arm. You see that? That's like a 10 foot arm that just got snapped off by the storm we just had. Don't you just love the wind on the plains of North Dakota? I'm getting ready to can more iced tea. Look how beautifully dark that tea is. And then remember, I add a jar of tea to my ice and my sugar and then water because this is like super tea concentrate. And then I add water and I end up with a giant glass pitcher of iced tea for my kids. So far, 12 jar jars sealed and processed. Two of the jars didn't seal because I get seven jars per canner, but that's okay. I'll just put new lids on them, wipe the rims, and put a new lid on, send it through the canner, and hopefully it'll seal. All right, guys, I will bring you back when my shelf over there is completely full of all new tea. And there you go, you guys. Those are all the jars I can. I ended up with 36 jars of tea from, I had six in the one bag, six ounces in the one bag and eight ounces in the other. So 15 ounces of tea, of that loose leaf tea. And then um, a box and a half of um, celestial seasoning tea. And I got 36 quarts of tea for my kids to be able to make iced tea out of. They put two jars ice and sugar in a big three quart or three gallon and water in a big three gallon um, pitcher that ice glass pitcher that go, goes in my fridge and they make their iced tea and as long as I make it all up into a concentrate like this for them then they can do it themselves I don't have to do it for them they are teenagers they are of age they are capable of doing this stuff themselves now when I can my tea, I can it at the longest time for a fruit. So I can it at 35 minutes for the tea. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I've got quite the crazy vlog of just all kinds of random clips going on. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Stay positive. Yeah. Welcome to the plains of North Dakota, everyone. This is why we build our streets the way we do. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But it's like one giant river system into the middle there. 
and I can see it but I'm not sure if you can the wind here is so strong that it's actually blowing <laughs> it everywhere Oop, I don't think somebody wants their vehicle showing oh look you can see the hold on look how much water there is you guys So, and I've already got tanks drowning out there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been bailing water every opportunity I can. But it feels like I'm not doing anything. And I need to get water bailed out of those tanks. I think I'm going to try to find a system on how to make sure that my tanks are able to drain rather than just straight up bailing water. Alright guys, we'll see what happens when this storm comes to an end. It's been two days now, so we'll see. Alright you guys, these are indeterminate tomato breeds. So I cut off the stem arms that grow leaf to encourage a flowering arm to grow in the armpit of the stem arm. And that flowering stem that's growing in the armpit there, right here, little itty bitty tiny, right there, that is what will grow my tomatoes. So I cut back the, the long leaf arms to encourage armpit growth and stem arm to get the tomato flowers that I want. Now this only works on indeterminate. 